Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, we've got a great little scroll effect for you today. If I roll down this page, have a look below those blue blurb modules there. We've got a button that's going to fade in as I roll down, around about 50% it's going to fade in. As we roll up, of course people can click on it and do what they need to do. As we roll up, when it gets to about 85-90%, it's going to disappear again at the top. And if people are scrolling around your site, that's going to get their attention pretty quickly. Really easy to do. Nice little effect. Don't have to do any coding for this today. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder so we can build on the front end. OK, well, let's go down and we'll delete what we've got going on here. Here's my little button here. OK. Well, I've got a row here. I'm going to simply delete the row. And what I'll do is I'll create a new row and I'll save this row to the library and export it and anybody who wants to download it and install it into theirs they can do so with their Divi library. I'll save it as a row. So I'm going to put a single row in here. Inside I'm going to use a simple button module. Divi comes as standard with all these light grey modules here and you can use any module you like for this. I'm going to use a button simply because it's got a function there. So I'm going to pop a button in there. There it is right there. Obviously, put in what you want it to say. Right there, as you can see, it's put it into our button. Link-wise, let's drop down. Where it is you want to take your people when they click on it, put your link in there. Always best practice, if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off-site to somebody else's site, open it in a new tab. That way your site will stay open. Okay, well, let's go over to our design now. I'm going to pop this button in the middle. Text-wise, well, there is no text really. It's just a button. So I'm going to go straight into the button and we'll custom style our button. So I'm going to go down to the button. I'm going to flip the little switch to yes to customize the button. Text size, I'm going to leave just as it is. You can choose whatever color you want here. And of course, the little three little dots there, you've got to drop down with a color palette down there. I'm going to turn mine to white. It'll disappear on our white background here. And let's give it a background color. I want to make mine purple today. There it is. And let's create a hover state for it when people hover over it. And this is common to all Divi modules. You can create hover states on most of them. Go into the module, roll over the dark writing. Go to the thing that you want to affect. In my case, the color background here or the button background here roll over the dark writing. If there's an arrow there, we can set a desktop state when your mouse is not on it and a hover state when the mouse is on it. So when we hover over it, let's change it to a blue color perhaps. Great. Now the default time it takes to go from purple to blue is 300 milliseconds. If you want to slow that down or speed it up, you can do that in the advanced tab over here under transitions. There's the 300 milliseconds. You can either slide it up, type in a value, increment up and down with the little buttons. Don't want any delay. If you want to delay, that means that they can put their mouse on it and nothing's going to happen for a certain period of time that you put in there. Speed curves, they've got several here. Ease is going to work fine for this today. I'm going to leave it on there. Ease in out is another one that will work fine for these. These are all subtly different. Some will work better than others in certain situations, so do check them out. But I'm going to leave it on the default ease for mine today. Okay, well, let's go back to our button. I'm going to give it some round corners and a bit of box shadow, perhaps. So let's go back into the button under the design tab. Button border width. I don't want any border on there, so I'm going to take that away. No color because we've got no border. Radius, I'm going to give it about 30 pixels to give it nice rounded corners. There we go. Of course, the styling is entirely up to you. As with all things Divi, there is a massive amount of fonts. There really are. I've been using this for four or five years. So I've not gone through all these fonts yet. To audition one, simply roll over it. It'll give you an example of it. I'm going to leave mine on the default today. Great, great, great. Of course, you can choose your icon here. I'm not going to have an icon on mine today. If you do want an icon, though, there's a lot to choose from. They've just teamed up with Font Awesome 4. You can scroll through, you can do a search. Well, they've got a little button here. If you click on it, it will break out into a breakout box here. 
and make it easier to scroll and see more of the icons there. But there's a lot of them. So I, I'm going to turn mine off today. I don't want an icon on mine at all. Great. I'll put a bit of text shadow on there because it does help on a button just to make the text stand out a little bit more on the button there. And let's just finish off with a bit of box shadow on the bottom. Still under the design tab here. There we go. Okay. I want to add a little bit of space above there. So it's got similar space above and below. So if we go back into the button itself, we can go to spacing. I'm going to use margin top. I think I probably just want to put 20 or 30 on the top. It's not bad. Let's try 30. Yeah, that's about right for me. That'll work. Great. Well, let's create our little scroll effect now. And like I say, there's no coding involved this today. This is a built in in this is an inbuilt feature of the Divi theme itself. So what we're going to do, we're going to go over to the advanced tab. We're going to scroll down to the bottom. There you'll find scroll effects. And you can also make things sticky with this, which means you can stick it to the top or the bottom, wherever you want to when they scroll up and down. We're not going to be using that feature today. If we look at the scroll transition effects, We've got vertical motion up and down, obviously, horizontal, left and right. Fade in and out, we'll be using that today. Scaling up and down, which is making bigger or smaller. Rotating or blurring. So let's use the fade for ours today. I'm going to hit the fade. Hit the little switch to enable fading in and out. And it gives us this little bar here to decide how we want to display things. Now, kind of what I've got in mind is what I showed you at the beginning. When we roll up from the bottom, when the bo bo button rolls up, I don't really want it to be visible until it gets almost halfway up. Then I want it to be fully visible fairly quickly so they can click on it and read it. Then when it gets to the top of the page, around about 80-90%, I want it to fade back out again. So the mid opacity, opacity means transparency or see-throughness, is set to 100%. You can type in whatever value you want there. So I want it to be 100% visible, probably from 50% to maybe 80%, something like that. So I'm going to leave that on 50%. I'm going to take the right hand one. I'm going to take that up to 80%, I think I decided. Then I want it to come in pretty quickly. So I'm going to actually make the viewport top 90%. So it's just normal at 90%. And again, at the bottom, I want it to be invisible all the way until just before the 50. So let's take this bottom viewport up to perhaps about 40%. And when I say viewport, that's the visible area of your screen. And whatever device you're looking at it on, this will be a percentage of that. So at 40%, it's going to start to fade in. At 50%, it's going to be fully visible. It's going to be fully visible all the way up to about 80%. Then at 90%, I'm going to make that a zero at the moment the opacity is set to 100 so I'm going to make it zero so it fades back out again. I'm just putting a zero in no need to put in the actual percent sign itself. Great well that should actually work for us let's roll it down and see. There we go as you can see or as you can't see because it's not there it's disappeared. So I'm going to roll up from the bottom it should start to appear around the 40 percent. There it is. 50% it should be fully visible and like I say people can roll over it and click on it and what have you as we roll up it'll stay fully visible till we get to about 80% then it'll start to fade out and disappear when we get to 90% great well that works for me let's save it and make sure it's going to work on the front end before I do that I'll save this row as a JSON file zip it up for anybody who wants to download it. So I'm going to hit the little icon to save row to library, little round icon between the row modules and the trash can there. And I'm going to call it fade button. And I'm going to save it to my library. And there'll be a download link below the video for anybody who wants that one. Great. Well, let's exit the visual builder now. Make sure this is going to work on the front end. Great, here we are. Let's roll down the page. Keep your eyes on the bottom of the screen. There's our little button starting to fade in. Fully in. Stays fully in. 
it's going to fade out about there and disappear completely when it gets up to the top there like i say if people are scrolling up and down your site and that fades in it's going to get their eyes on it pretty quickly nice little feature to have on your site so there you have it guys let me just quickly export this file and show you how to import it for anybody who doesn't know i'm going to go down to my dashboard i'm actually in my layouts here i'll have to refresh this to get to your layouts just go to your dashboard go down to divi and divi library we're actually in the divi library at the moment i'm going to export this one it's called fade button so i'm just going to put a check mark in there import and export i'm going to export let's give it a name fade button i only want to export the one that i've got highlighted there or selected it's going to build a little file and as you can see it's downloaded it to my browser here like i say i'll zip that into a zip file and you can download it for anybody that doesn't know how download the zip file unzip it hit the import and export you're going to want to import it this time then you can just drag it up there or hit the choose file and browse to it i'm not going to actually import it because it's already in there once you've done that obviously obviously hit the import divi button layout and you can load it from your library so there you go guys there's a little button scroll effect for you really easy to do really nice little effect to have on your site and that's a great little feature they built into the divi theme there itself so i hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to the youtube channel once again this has been jamie with system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com don't forget if you've got any questions put them down below the video i'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video for you thanks for watching have a great day